evening, Lancer fans, and welcome to Lawrence High School here in Lawrence, Massachusetts for this matchup in varsity football between the North Andover Scarlet Knights and your Lawrence High School Lancers. We start off tonight's broadcast on a somber note as the Lawrence High School community is mourning the loss of Antoinette Olerich, cheerleading assistant coach and wife of Coach Richie Olerich, a Lawrence High Lancers football coach. So tonight's broadcast and tonight's game is being played in honor of Antoinette Olerich. Emotional moments before the game here this evening as Lawrence High takes the field. Just about set to get underway here from Robert Fitzgerald Field at Veterans Memorial Stadium here in Lawrence, Massachusetts. The North Andover Scarlet Knights with a record of 3-1 and one visiting Lawrence High. The Knights ranked at number 6 in the state of Massachusetts in the MIAA Division II football power rankings. Meanwhile, your Lancers come in at number 27 and that, of course, is in Division I. The Lancers coming off a victory last week in New Bedford. That's right, the Lancers going all the way down to the South Coast and picking up a 20-19 victory against the Whalers. North Andover will return the opening kickoff here as we are just moments away from kickoff. 56 degrees and breezy here in the Merrimack Valley this evening. The Lancers enthusiastic about tonight's game, coming off a win, a long bus ride home from New Bedford. An exciting, exciting bus ride. Good vibes on that bus ride as the Lancers ex escaped with a 20 to 19 win. About set for the opening kickoff here, number 99, the junior Danny Mejia set to kick things off. And we are underway here from Lawrence, a beautiful fall evening, October the 13th, 2023, as the kickoff goes out of bounds on the far side, illegal procedure. And North Andover will start off with their junior quarterback, Drew Fitzgerald. Last week, the Scarlet Knights hung with Methuen. Methuen ranked number five in the state after the most recent power rankings came out earlier this morning. The Knights hung in there, but ultimately lost 38 to 21 against the Rangers. So Fitzgerald in the shotgun with two backs in the backfield here for the first play from scrimmage. Fitzgerald's going to hand it off to Zach Walinski. And Walinski, the senior, the main offensive weapon for the Scarlet Knights, takes the carry to the left side of the line, picks up two yards. And the Scarlet Knights will look to get Zach Walinski involved here early. He's going to get a lot of touches in this game. He is lined up as the lone back in the backfield to the right of Fitzgerald. Here's the snap and a handoff to McNaught. McNaught gets tackled close to the first down marker. Michael McNaught, the senior on the carry, picks up the first down. The chains will move here as North Andover picks up a first down in two plays on their first drive of the game. Clock rolling here in the first quarter. No score from Lawrence. 11 minutes to go here in the first. Line of scrimmage is the North Andover 45-yard line. Fitzgerald again in the shotgun with two backs in the backfield. Make it three as it's another handoff. This one goes to Walinski, and Walinski gets into the backfield. Nice carry on first down for Walinski. Good blocking up front by North Andover. 
He picks up nine on first down. Playbook wide open here for North Andover. Second and one from the Lawrence 46-yard line. Fitzgerald again in the shotgun. He hands it off to McNaught. Flag down in the backfield as McNaught to the near side is knocked out of bounds by Reyes. Lancer D hoping that it's a holding call. It is, in fact, a holding call against North Andover, so that's a 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. So after the penalty, North Andover back on their own side of the field. New line of scrimmage after the penalty is the North Andover 44-yard line. They need to get to the Lawrence 45 to pick up a first down. So this is second down and 11. Here's Fitzgerald back to throw for the first time tonight. Lofts a pass to an open Walensky. Walensky hauls it in over on the far sideline. Lancers need to tighten that up. Zach Walensky, the main weapon for the North Andover offense, found himself wide open over on the far sideline. He picks up a first down on the first passing attempt for Drew Fitzgerald, the junior quarterback. First and 10 Knights from the Lancer 44. Under 10 minutes to go here in the first, no score. Fitzgerald hands it off. And again, it's Walensky getting into the backfield. The tackle made by Yariel Corsino. And Walensky almost broke that one to the house. Corsino made a touchdown saving tackle there. Walensky busy on this first drive as he has been all season for the Knights. He's the lone back in the backfield. But coming into the backfield is McNaught. And McNaught takes the carry to the Lancer 24-yard line. Make it the 25. A first down carry of four yards. Second and six North Andover, first drive of the game. Fitzgerald again to Walensky. Walensky towards the marker. It's going to depend on the spot. Close to the 20-yard line, he was looking for the 19 to pick up the first. Again, Corsino on the tackle. That's two big tackles for him so far on this first drive. Walensky ended up a yard short, certainly four down territory here, so the Knights will have a couple chances to pick up a yard. Third and one from the 20. Fitzgerald, double handoff. It ends up into the hands of McNaught. Fitzgerald handed off to Walensky, who then handed off to McNaught. Good defense by Lawrence up front. The front seven has been having a good year in terms of run defense. They were not tricked by the misdirection. McNaught carries for no gain on third and one. And a big play here early in the game. Fourth down and one. Fitzgerald lines up under center, eye formation. It's a toss to Walensky. Makes a cut, picks up the first down to keep the drive alive. A nice carry there by Walensky from the I formation. Toss right. Ends up in a first down for the Knights. Nice fourth down conversion there. New line of scrimmage is the Lancer 15-yard line. Again, under center, 
Fitzgerald back to throw, looking to the end zone, and it's broken up. Great defense by Reyes. He turned around at just the right moment. Again, under center. Fitzgerald back to throw, looking to the end zone, and it's broken up. Great defense by Reyes. He turned around at just the right moment. Second down and 10 for the Knights. As Fitzgerald, the near side rollout, trying to get six here for North Andover on their first drive of the game. 6.48 to play here in the first. The Knights chewing up clock here to start off the game. This is the first drive of the game. Still no score. Fitzgerald hands off to Walensky. The Lancer is ready for him this time. A short loss on second down. It's going to be third and long now for the Knights. They're in the red zone. They got to get it inside the Lancer five to pick up a new set of downs. Nice tackle by Ozarian Ventura. You'll see him carrying the ball later once the Lancers are on offense. Here we go, third down and 10. It's Fitzgerald back to throw, looking to the near side. He's gonna scramble, he throws last second for a touchdown. Nice scramble there by Fitzgerald and it's caught in the far corner of the end zone. Six nothing Knights after the touchdown pass by Fitzgerald. His first catch of the game, Jake Jackson, number 16 for the Knights, hauls it in. Here's the extra point attempt. The kick is on the way. It is through. No, it's not through. No good. Looks like it went wide left. So the extra point, no good. Six to nothing here in the first with 6.08 to play. North Andover chewing up nearly half of the first quarter. And the Lancers will go on offense here for the first time tonight, led by senior quarterback Jaden Abru. Folks, we want to thank you so much for joining us here on LPS Media. We have a new Comcast channel. That's right. Tune into Comcast Channel 6 and Verizon Channel 41. Or, of course, head on over to our YouTube channel to catch all the excitement Feels like LPS Media got a promotion, formerly Comcast Channel 99, all the way down into the single digits, Comcast Channel 6 now. So for those of you watching on local cable, thanks for joining us. Six to nothing nights after the touchdown reception by Jackson. Camden Bethel kicks off for North Andover. Ball bounces at the 15. Ball on the ground. It's loose. And the Lancers thankfully recover after a short kickoff return. So the Lancers recover the fumble at the 20 yard line. Starting offensive line tonight for your Lawrence Lancers. 602 on the clock here. First quarter action from Lawrence. Jaden Abreu in the shotgun here. First play from scrimmage for Lawrence High. Here's Reyes making a cut. Reyes, a nice gain on first down, brings it to the 29-yard line, just short of a first down. Six to nothing, North Andover on top here. And Reyes brings it inches short of the first down marker. It's second and short here. 
Less than a yard needed for the Lancers here on second down. The lone back in the backfield here for Lawrence Thomas Rodriguez, the sophomore. Three wide receiver set. Reyes goes in motion again. This time it's a handoff to Rodriguez. Looking for the 30-yard line. Might be just short. Let's see if he was able to pick up the first down depends on the spot he gets a good spot first down lancers as thomas rodriguez got wrapped up at the line of scrimmage that little extra push got him the first down so lancers pick up a first down here on their first drive of the game rodriguez remains in the backfield here with a brew a three wide receiver Three wide receivers set, two to the near side right for the Lancers. Another handoff. This time Rodriguez, short gain on first down. Picks up a couple. Second and a long eight coming up for the Lancers here. Second drive of the game, North Andover scored a touchdown on their first drive, a touchdown reception by Jake Jackson. And already just over four minutes to play here in the first. Both of these teams chewing up clock to start this game off. Ventura and Rodriguez both in the backfield with Jaden Abreu. Rodriguez goes in motion. It's a handoff to Ventura, and Ozarian Ventura plows forward, creating a manageable third down situation for the Lancers. Third down coming up for Lawrence High. Four yards needed to pick up the first. They need to get it past the 40 yard line here. Again, Ventura and Rodriguez both in the backfield. Three wide receivers set for the Lancers here on third down. Rodriguez getting close to the sticks, very close. The Lancer sideline thinks he has it. Waiting for the spot here. He's got a first down. The Lancers move the chains. Lancer offensive line here getting a decent push against the North Andover defense. Both Ventura and Rodriguez touching the ball out of the Lancer backfield here in the first quarter. Right now, it's Rodriguez, the lone back to the right of Abreu, three wide to the near side right for Lawrence High. Here is Abreu. Hands it off again and a loss of yardage on first down as the front seven for North Andover penetrates the Lancer offensive line. And it's a loss of two yards on first down. That creates a second and 12 situation for Lawrence High. Under two minutes to go here in the first. Clock is flowing here early on. Only the second drive of the game. The Lancers trying to answer back after a Jake Jackson touchdown reception to make it 6 nothing. That's where we stand here in the first. Fake the handoff to Cartagena. It's a screen pass to Solar. Solar gets a block, and he had all kinds of space to work with, but he's tripped up at the 50. Oh, Friendy Solar saw daylight there, but he just got tripped up. Nice broken tackle there by Solar at the line of scrimmage. Gets some good yardage, though. Third down and a yard now after the screen pass to Friendy.
Let's see if the Lancers want to go back to the running game here on third and short. Manon in the backfield with a brew. It's a handoff. A lot of misdirection, but a first down for the Lancers. Ozarian Ventura gets the carry after a lot of misdirection in the backfield. And the Lancers in business here now on the north end over half of the field. Manon in the backfield to the right of Jaden Abreu on that play. And they swing around Ozarian Ventura to get the carry. As time runs out here in the first quarter, a quick first quarter here from Veterans Memorial to score after 12 minutes of play. North Andover, six, and Lawrence High, zero. Folks, once again, we want to thank you so much for joining us here on LPS Media, Comcast Channel 6, Verizon Channel 41, or, of course, the Lawrence Public Schools YouTube channel. We've got you covered with 24-hour coverage of events happening all across the Lawrence Public Schools. From the latest LHS sports action to theatrical productions from all around the school district, we've got it all. And with over 1,000 videos from the last decade, you can relive all of your favorite moments anytime, anywhere. So don't wait. Open up the YouTube app or open up your favorite browser and start streaming today. Get in the game with LPS Media, your home for Lawrence Lancers Athletics. Back to the action we go. First and 10 for the Lancers. The second quarter about to get underway here from Lawrence. The Knights scoring a touchdown on their first drive of the game. Fitzgerald, a touchdown pass to Jake Jackson. Made it six to nothing. Lancers, this is still their first drive of the ball game. Here's a toss to Cartagena. Cartagena makes a cut, cuts back, and that's a lot of running for no gain. Second down coming up for the Lancers. And that's the type of play the Lancers like to run to set up other plays in the playbook as the toss to Cartagena, the motion to bring Cartagena to the near side. He actually picked up a very short gain there, gain of less than a yard. But a play like that will open up a lot of other plays here in the playbook to see if the Lancer offense can get the uh, North Andover defense to bite on that motion by Cartagena from the far side of the field to the near side. Lancers changing the formation at the line of scrimmage here. Rodriguez in the backfield to the right of Abreu. It's a three wide receiver set. Again, Cartagena goes in motion. It's a rollout flag on the play as Jaden Abreu rushes for a gain of four to five yards. And that could be a holding penalty. It is in fact a holding penalty against Lawrence. So. Flag thrown in the backfield. 10-yard penalty coming up for the Lancers. So the Lancers back on their own half of the field. After the 10-yard penalty, second down and a long way to go to pick up the first. About... 21 yards needed to pick up the first here. So Jaden in the shotgun with three wide to the near side left here. Second and long. Now an empty backfield. Jaden looking over the middle. Finds Solar and they get the yardage back. Nice reception by Friendy Solar. 
Friendy Solar feeling himself there. Making a CD Lamb type gesture after the reception. If Friendy Solar can heat up in this game, he's been open a few times. That's going to help out this Lancer offense in a big way. So Manon comes into the game here. Keep an eye out on number 10, the leading touchdown scorer for the Lancers this season. David Manon, the D-man out on the field. Let's see what the Lancers want to do here on third and seven. It's an empty set for the Lancers. You love to see it. Manon lined up in the slot to the far side right. Five wide for the Lancers here on third and seven. Here's Jaden looking to throw. Fires over the middle. Completes the pass. First down, Lancers. Friendy Solar hauls it in. A bruise pass completes to Friendy Solar. First down, Lawrence. The chains move to the 25-yard line. Go the Lancers. Just over nine minutes to play here in the second quarter. Solar, three receptions here on this first drive of the game. Three big ones. None bigger than that third down conversion on third and seven. Once again, a five wide receiver set for the Lancers. Jaden Abreu, the senior quarterback, coaching staff trusting him here in an empty set. Back to throw on first and 10. Firing to the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown! Cartagena! Ties it up, six to six. Here in an empty set, back to throw on first and 10. Firing to the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown. Cartagena ties it up, six to six. And we are tied at six. Now the Lancers with a chance to take the lead here. Jadis Cartagena, a 25-yard touchdown reception. A beautiful throw from the senior quarterback. Here's the kick. And it's blocked at the line of scrimmage. So we are all tied up here, six to six. Two absolutely clinical drives to start off this game here. North Andover marching down the field using a good blend of running and passing. It was Jake Jackson who hauled in the touchdown reception from Drew Fitzgerald to make it 6 nothing. Extra point, no good. And just a moment ago in the second quarter, Jadis Cartagena, the senior number one in blue, hauls in the 25-yard touchdown catch from his fellow senior, Jaden Abreu. What a drive. That was arguably the best drive of the season for Lawrence High. Converting on third downs, mixing up the run and the pass. Friendy Solar, absolutely key during that drive with three receptions, including a big, big third down conversion. So here we go, third drive of the game coming up here. 8.31 to play in the second quarter. Mejia, the kickoff, this time sends it up the middle. Ball on the ground for a moment, and that gives a chance for the Lancer kickoff coverage team to come in and make the tackle. Iglesias on the return, just a few yards. And number 17, KJ Spawn, soon to be the birthday boy, KJ Spawn, making a great special teams tackle. From the 23-yard line, second drive of the game for North Andover. It's a four-wide receiver set, two to either side. Here is Fitzgerald. It's a handoff up the middle, and what a tackle by David Manning. The Lancer defense and the Lancer sideline fired up. 
as the D-man absolutely blows up that rushing attempt by North Andover. Same formation here for the Knights. Four wide, two to either side. Fitzgerald in the shotgun, back to throw on second down, fires over the middle, complete to Walensky. First down and more. Nice catch and run by Zach Walensky. Big gainer on second down. Brings it to the 45 yard line of North Andover. Good job there by Fitzgerald to hang in the pocket. He waited for Walensky to get open over the middle, a little slant pattern right over the top. And Walensky makes the catch in space and some yardage after the catch. So now Fitzgerald again in the shotgun, this time four wide receiver set with three wide to the far side left. Takes the snap, hands it off, met at the line of scrimmage. Great tackle made by the Lancer D on the carry. Ben Iglesias gets the carry. A quick spell there for Walensky as Iglesias loses two on the carry. Again, three wide to the far side left for North Andover. One back in the backfield, tight end to the near side right. It's this bubble screen out to the far side to McNaught. And McNaught gets a couple yards back, but a nice tackle again made by North Andover on the far side after the screen pass reception by Michael McNaught. Now let's see if the Lancers can come up with a big third down stop here. The North Andover offense was able to march down the field in methodical fashion on their first drive. And let's see what Fitzgerald and the North Andover Knights have dialed up here for this third and nine. Let's see if they try to get it to Walensky over the middle once again. Walensky back in coverage and the throw to the near side. It's caught for the first down. Nice reception over here on the near side to Jake Sal Frank. First catch of the game for the 6-4 tight end. The senior keeps the drive alive, gets it into Lancer territory. New line of scrimmage after the reception by Sal Frank is the 31 yard line. McNaught on the carry, going lateral and he's brought down from behind, picks up a couple of yards. Second down coming up after the rushing attempt by Michael McNaught. Elijah Santel on the tackle. So a short gain there, about a yard for McNaught, makes it second and nine. 4.50 to go until halftime. This is just the second drive of the game for North Andover. They scored on their first. Two backs in the backfield along with Fitzgerald. It's Walensky bursting through the left side and gets close to the first down marker. Wow, Walensky showing off the acceleration there. And Walensky comes up about a foot shy of the first down marker. So third down and less than a yard here for the Knights. Clock rolling here with four minutes to play until halftime. Fitzgerald hands it off up the middle, a third down conversion for North Andover. As Walensky carries it over the 20 yard line into the red zone and the Knights are threatening once again. The 
So from the 19-yard line. Walensky, the lone back in the backfield to the right of Drew Fitzgerald. Three wide receivers to the far side left. Fitzgerald, he's going to run it up the middle, dumps it off at the last moment, incomplete intended for McNaught. Fitzgerald coming dangerously close to the line of scrimmage there. Looked like he was just going to run it up the gut, but he tried to dump it off to Michael McNaught. Off the fingertips and incomplete, setting up a second and 10 situation here with 3.15 to go in the second quarter. Under center is Fitzgerald here with two backs in the backfield. Rushing attempt for Walensky, spin move off the tackle. Walensky picks up a little bit of yardage there on second down. Nice job after contact as Walensky spins away from the initial tackler to make a little something out of nothing. Third and five here for North Andover, certainly four down territory, so the whole playbook wide open. Third and five, the Knights threatening once again in the backfield is Iglesias. Back to throw, Fitzgerald scrambling to his right, now back over to his left, Fitzgerald looking to the end zone, it's caught, but before the goal line. First down, Knights, as the receiver coming from the end zone back to about the three yard line. So first and goal after the reception over there on the far side of the field. A nice scramble there by Drew Fitzgerald. Went to his right first and back over to his left, throwing across his body. Picks up a first down for the Knights. Let's see who they give it to. Walensky in the backfield here. I formation. Here comes Zach Walensky untouched into the end zone for the North Andover touchdown. Twelve to six after the three yard touchdown run. So let's see what the Knights want to do here on the conversion attempt. Will they go for the extra point or will they go for two? It's 12 six right now, so it's a six point lead. An extra point would put them up by seven. They could also try to make it an eight-point lead, and it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. Fitzgerald in the shotgun formation. North Andover going for two here in the second quarter. Fitzgerald dumps it to McNaught, who hops over the end zone, the goal line, and he converts the two-point conversion. Two ten to play until halftime. Scoring summary so far here from Lawrence. Jake Jackson, a touchdown reception to make it 6-0 in the first quarter. And then in the second, Jadis Cartagena, a 25-yard touchdown reception to make it 6-6. And just a moment ago, Zach Walensky, a three-yard touchdown run to make it 12-6. McNaught adds the two-point conversion to make it 14-6, an eight-point lead for the Knights. That's where we stand with 2-10 to play here in the second quarter. Ball on the ground here as De La Rosa has it at the goal line and it's going to be a touchback. Lucky break there for the Lancers as it goes off the fingertips of Justin De La Rosa all the way into the end zone. And that'll bring the line of scrimmage back out to the 20-yard line. 
First and 10, the Lancers, this is only their second drive of the game. Unbelievable pace here to this game. Kickoff about 45 minutes ago. So 2.02 to play until halftime. The Lancers are gonna have to go into their two minute drill here. This is only their second drive of the ball game. Clock rolling with a lot of completions, a lot of rushing attempts by both teams here in this game. Touchdowns on all drives so far in this game. Here's a brew with three wide to the near side left, looking to throw, scrambling. He's got a lot of room to work with. Scrambles to the middle of the field. There goes Jaden, Jaden! And Nice run by the senior. Picks up a first down and more. Jaden Abreu initiating the contact where he's tackled at the 38 yard line. A tough run by the senior quarterback. He had three receivers sprinting downfield. None of them could get open. So he goes around the right tackle and scrambles for a big gain. An 18-yard pickup, to be exact. From the 38-yard line, it's first and 10. Three wide to the far side right for a brew. It's a handoff to Rodriguez. Rodriguez makes a cut. Gets it over to the 46-yard line. And the Lancers call timeout here with one minute, eight seconds to play. So the clock stopped here as the Lancers successful on the rushing attempt to make it second down and three. And the Lancer offense has a moment to talk things over as they try to get another score here on their second drive of the ball game. Once again, last week, North Andover hung tough with Methuen through a half, but ended up losing 38 to 21 against the fifth ranked Methuen Rangers. Before that, the Knights with three straight wins against Beverly, Marblehead, and Chelmsford. Meanwhile, the Lancers, Last week, a victory against New Bedford, a 20-19 win. They started off the season with a 27-0 victory against Lynn English on the road. Lost to Wachusett Regional here at home. Lost to Tewksbury here at home. And lost to Brockton on the road, a low-scoring game, 14-7. So the Lancers at 2-3, and three, trying to win their second consecutive game. Empty backfield here for Jaden Abreu. Two wide to the near side left, three wide to the far side right. David Mannon, the far side right slot receiver, back to throw, pump fake. Abreu throws to the near side. Cartagena trying to get out of bounds. Clock still going to roll, but a first down for the Lancers, so the clock does stop after the first down, at least briefly. And now the clock will run after the ball has been set. Lancers have to be thinking about another timeout here, but they huddle up here with 50 seconds to go. Let's see if the Lancers want to take their shot here. Another five wide receiver set, 40 seconds to go until halftime with the clock rolling. Jaden Abreu looking to the near side, fires incomplete intended for Cartagena. And the clock stops with 32 seconds to play here in the second quarter. Lancers still have timeouts to work with, so the whole field is open. They can use the middle of the field. They can use the sidelines. Playbook wide open here, but they need yardage. 46 yards away from where they want to be with only 32 seconds left in the half. 
Four wide receivers set. Roll out to the right for a brew. Fires and it's incomplete. Intended for Friendy Solar. That brings up a third down situation for the Lancers. And the clock stopped due to the incompletion, but the Lancers still want to call timeout to talk things over here on this third down and 10. And remember, folks, North Andover returned the opening kickoff. So Lawrence High will be returning the opening kickoff after halftime, but they would love to sneak in a score here to at least come close to tying it up. They're down by eight here in the second quarter with 27 seconds to go. Interesting game here so far from Lawrence. A very fast-paced game. The clock rolling throughout most of this first half. A lot of completions, a lot of rushing attempts. Kickoff was only 50 minutes ago, and here we are, just 27 seconds away from halftime. This is only the fourth drive of the game. Second of the game for Lawrence High. There have been touchdowns on every drive so far in this game. Lawrence High trying to continue that here. They're running out of time, though, and they need yardage. It's third and 10. The Lancers need to convert here. Otherwise, they might be forced into a punting situation. Abreu back to throw on third and 10. And he's going to be sacked at midfield. 18 seconds left, and it's fourth and long for the Lancers. An apparent punting situation for Lawrence High. And the Lancers call timeout once again. Fourth down and 14 coming up. Not sure about the timeout here called by Lawrence as that could create a situation where North Andover might want to push the ball downfield although with 18 seconds and possibly 12, 10 to 12 seconds left when North Andover gets the ball, we'll see if they want to pick up some yardage and go for a long shot. Let's see what the Lancers want to do here. It seems like a punting situation, but if the Lancers leave the offense out on the field here on 4th and 14, they have to be willing to defend 50 yards if they're not able to convert. Punting unit is out there. Angel Deplan is back to punt. Watch out for the fake here late in the quarter. No fake. Deplon sends it away. A nice punt by Deplon. It takes a Lancer bounce inside the 20 at about the 16-yard line. That's where the Lancers will down it. Four seconds remaining here in the quarter. Let's see what the Knights want to do now if they choose to. They can run a play. They have a couple of options here. Take a knee, rush it up the middle, or they could go for a home run. Let's see what the plan is here for North Andover. Looks like they're going to line up and take a knee here. Kneel down to end the second quarter. It's halftime already here from Lawrence. The score after two quarters, North Andover 14 and the Lancers 6. Folks, thanks so much for joining us here on LPS Media, your home for Lawrence Lancers Athletics. We're going to take a short halftime break, and we'll be right back with the third quarter. My 
my brain is hungry. Eating healthy food is a great way to fuel up the empaths. Welcome back, Sir Fans. Thank you so much for joining us here on LPS Media, your home for Lawrence Lancer's Athletics. We're about to get the second half underway. Lawrence High set to return the second half kickoff. It's grabbed at the 10 yard line. Nice cut there by the return man across the 20. And Lawrence High will set up shop their third drive of the game. We want to thank our crew for making tonight's broadcast possible. Eli, Steven, and Saul. Our producer is Luis Lopez, the best crew in the business here on LPS Media, your home for Lawrence Lancer's Athletics. The score after one half of play here in Lawrence, 14 to six. Lancer's down by eight here to start things off. Lancer offense takes the field here. Lancer's really only had one real chance on offense in the in the first half of play, a touchdown drive ending in a 25-yard catch by Jadis Cartagena and then in the second half, they had a quick drive. This is a direct snap right up the middle. Nice running room there for In the first Manning. half of play, a touchdown drive ending in a 25-yard catch by Jadis Cartagena. And then in the second half, they had a quick drive. This is a direct snap right up the middle. Nice running room there for Manning. On the first play of the half, Manning Fantastic. on the direct snap. Blocking up front by the offensive line of Lawrence High. They go without a huddle here. First and 10, second play of the second half. It's a toss to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez is stood up. No gain for Rodriguez on the first down carry. 11.20 to play here, third quarter action. The Lancers trying to pull off the upset against North Andover. Second and 10 coming up for Lawrence High. One back in the backfield, it's Ventura along with Jaden Abreu. The senior quarterback gets set to take the shotgun snap here. Lancers down by eight. Trying to come back here against North Andover. To carry up the middle and running room down the near sideline. Manon at the 15, and he's brought down inside the Trying 10. To come back here against North Andover. To carry up the middle and running room down the near sideline. Manon at the 15, and he's brought down inside the 10. Lancers going without a huddle here. First and goal for the home team. It's a carry to the near side. Touchdown! Lancers! Ozerian Ventura takes it to the house. Lancers going without a huddle here. First and goal for the home team. It's a carry to the near side. Touchdown, Lancers! What a drive to open up the third quarter. The Lancers come out of the locker room with a vengeance here. David Mannon doing the bulk of the work here, but Ventura running it in from eight yards out. Now here the Lancers going for two, trying to tie the game. It's Cartagena on the carry. Cartagena fighting for yardage. He finds the goal line. Jadis Cartagena for two. The Lancers and the Knights Ventura are all tied. 
Running it in from eight yards out. Now here the Lancers going for two, trying to tie the game. It's Cartagena on the carry. Cartagena fighting for yardage. He finds the goal line. Jadis Cartagena. Cartagena had a long way to go from the near side to the far side, but the Lancers have tied it up thanks to an eight yard touchdown run by Ozarian Ventura and a two point conversion by Jadis Cartagena. Wow, what a drive for the Lancers here to start off the third quarter. All tied up at 14. North Andover's defense initially caught off guard by the direct snap to Manon. Earlier on in the drive, he ripped off 46 yards on a rushing attempt and Ventura from eight yards out, found pay dirt. Ball on the ground here at the 20 yard line, but it's recovered by North Andover. And the ball on the ground again! The Lancers think they have it! Still waiting for a call from the official. And they're gonna say North Andover football, I believe. Everyone in the stadium here erupting, thinking that the Lancers had forced a turnover. North Andover will cover the bumps. First and 10 for the Scarlet Knights from their own 30 yard line. Tough break for the Lancers. They had two shots at it. North Andover is able to recover. Lancer sideline spilling out onto the turf thinking that they had forced a huge turnover here, but it wasn't to be. 10.25 to play here in the third. North Andover football trying to answer back after Ventura's eight yard touchdown run. Whistles before the snap here. False start is the call against North Andover. The momentum right now belongs to Lawrence High. The crowd making noise, the sideline making noise. Perhaps the loudest it has been all season here at Lawrence High. It's first and 15 for North Andover. 3 wide to the far side left for Fitzgerald. Takes the snap, tosses it over to Walensky and Walensky is brought down just after the line of scrimmage. Walensky gets a yard to make it second down and 14. 14 to 14 is the score here in Lawrence. Second down here coming up for North Andover. The Lancers have the momentum here, but North Andover going to try to silence the crowd here by picking up some yardage on their first drive of the third quarter. Big moment here in the game. Can the Lancers maintain the momentum here on defense? Or will it swing back North Andover's way here with them in possession of the football? Here's Fitzgerald back to throw. Under pressure, scrambling. The throw is caught, but was it in bounds over on the far sideline? The catch is made. And the reception is good for a, a nice pickup of 11 yards or so. Third down coming up for North Andover. So that brings up third and two. They need to get to the Lancer, beg your pardon, they need to get to their own 40 yard line here in the I formation. Third down for the Knights. It's a toss, a tackle is made, but not before the runner achieves the line to gain a new set of downs for the Knights after that rushing attempt is converted. The workhorse Zach Walensky with another rushing attempt moves the chains. Yep. 
No huddle here for North Andover from the shotgun. Fitzgerald tosses it to McNaught. McNaught spins off a tackle and gets decked at the 45-yard line. McNaught avoided the first tackler, and then he took a shot at the 45. Second and six now for North Andover. Tackle made after the rushing attempt close to the first down marker. Walensky again. He's a yard short here. Again, no huddle here for North Andover. Third and one. Here comes the blitz, and it's a tackle for a loss. What a blitz by Lawrence. A well-timed blitz. That play absolutely blown up in the backfield by Santel. Again, no huddle here for North Andover. Third and one. Here comes the blitz, and it's a Tackle for a loss. What a blitz by Lawrence. Elijah Santel following in the large footsteps of his older brother. What a tackle by Elijah Santel. A huge play in this game as it forces North Andover into a punting situation. An absolutely massive play in the game as Elijah Santel Blitzes through the offensive line, creates a tackle for a loss. Now North Andover is going to have to punt here. Possible good field position for a fake, though. Flag on the play here in the backfield as the punt is away. And it's grabbed by Reyes, and Reyes is tackled at the 29-yard line. Let's check the flag here. Looks like the penalty is going to go against North Andover. Oh yeah, we that. It's a false start penalty against North Andover. Five yard penalty. And Lawrence High chooses to accept the penalty rather than take the result of the play. And so that's going to put North Andover on their own 41-yard line where they will punt again. And the Lancers hoping that this results in some better field position. Reyes is back on his own 25-yard line to return the punt. High into the night sky, the punt is fielded at the 25, dropped! Reyes falls on it. Looks like he has it. Lancer football. Lancer football here, first and 10. Six fifty-one to play here in the third. The Lancers with their second opportunity on offense here in the third quarter. We ask for your cooperation in following this loss. No smoking, please. Really, please. So first possession of the third quarter resulted in a touchdown for Lawrence High. It was an eight yard touchdown run by Ozarian Ventura. Set up by the 46 yard rush by David Mannon. Two point conversion by Cartagena made it 14 to 14. And then a big tackle by Elijah Santel forces North Andover to punt on their first drive of the quarter. And so here we are with the Lancers in possession on their own 26 yard line set for this third quarter drive with the score tied at 14. Again, 6.51 to play here in the third.
at 10 a.m. Looking ahead to next weekend, we'll be right at home again. Next week, the Lancers host Lowell, a Saturday afternoon game. Kickoff at noon here should be a beautiful afternoon here in the Merrimack Valley. Again, the 21st of October, the Lancers against Lowell right here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. We hope you can join us here on campus. If you cannot, then of course we have you covered on LPS Media. On Friday, October the 27th, the Lancers travel to Haverhill to take on the Hillies. Two winnable games for the Lancers. First and 10 Lancers. Back to throw, Jaden Abreu fires and incomplete. Did well just to get it away. He was under pressure and he was able to dump it out of bounds. Good arm strength there as he was being brought down by the defensive line of North Andover. It goes out of bounds and that'll bring up second and 10. Cartagena lined up wide to the near side left. It's a direct snap again to Manon. Manon, not a lot of room to work with this time as North Andover was ready for the D-man on second down. He picks up a couple, third and eight coming up for Lawrence High. Let's see what they have in the playbook for a big third down situation here. About midway through the third quarter. Line of scrimmage, the Lancer 28 yard line. They're huddling up now past the midway point of the third quarter. Four wide receiver set, one to the near side left, three to the far side right, one back in the backfield along with Jaden Abreu. Can the Lancers convert here or will they be forced to punt back to North Andover? Catch is made, I believe, at the 35 yard line, but it's short of the line to gain. Jadis Cartagena came back to make a nice catch, but the Lancers are a yard short of the first down marker. Tough break as Cartagena couldn't quite make the 36 yard line. The Lancers a yard short. Lancers bring on Deplan to punt. Or could they try for a fake here? Nope, they're gonna play it conservatively. Deplan has been good punting all season. Ball bounces at the 40 and the Lancers down it at the 41 after a night bounce. So North Andover punted for the first time this evening on their last drive. 14 to 14 the score here in the third quarter. North Andover with another chance to pull ahead here. It's a screen pass to the far side for McNaught. McNaught is tackled low by Jadis Cartagena. Jadis Cartagena with a nice tackle there. Short gain on the play after the screen pass to McNaught. Second and nine. Three wide to the far side left for Fitzgerald. One back in the backfield. Here's the snap. It's a handoff. Lancers make the tackle. 
After the carry by Zach Walensky, the senior. Another big third down coming up. They're all big from here on out. Under four minutes to play here in the third. Knights looking for a conversion. Lancers looking to force another punt here. Four wide receivers set for the Knights. Walensky in the backfield. Here's the snap to Fitzgerald. Back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Walensky on the screen. Walensky with all kinds of room, but a nice open field tackle made by KJ Spawn. And Spawn gets up slowly. That was a touchdown saving tackle there by KJ Spawn. And he comes up limping, looks to be okay. Lancers brought pressure. But North Andover beat the blitz by setting up a screen pass to Zach Walensky. New line of scrimmage, the 40 yard line of Lawrence. Tied up at 14, under three minutes to play in the third. It's Fitzgerald back to pass on first and 10. Under some pressure, throws it. Looks like he bounces it in, incomplete. The intended receiver, Camden Bethel, tried to come back to the ball, and the junior caught it on a hop. So incomplete pass brings up second and 10 from the 40. With 2.45 to play in the third with the clock stopped. Two backs in the backfield now with Fitzgerald here on second and 10. Walensky makes a cut and bursts forward. Zach Walensky once again showing the burst, the acceleration, driving forward for a quick eight yards. Third down and two after an eight yard run. From the 32 yard line of Lawrence, the Knights need a couple to pick up a new set of downs. Just over two minutes to play in the third. Here's the shotgun snap. It's a handoff, Walensky brought down at the 30 yard line. He's got enough for a first. So the chains move here as Walensky needed the 30. He got it to the 29. First and 10 coming up for the Knights. They huddle up here with a minute and 45 to play in the third. Empty backfield, five wide receivers set for Fitzgerald. Back to throw on first and 10. Steps up in the pocket, firing over the middle, incomplete, looking for McNaught. But that was some good coverage by Jadis Cartagena. Tried to loft that one over the middle, but Cartagena was right there. Good coverage by the senior. Wide receiver and defensive back, Jadis Cartagena. Made sure that that was gonna fall incomplete. It was overthrown anyways, but second and 10 now coming up for the Knights from the 29. Two wide to the near side, right for Fitzgerald. Walensky in the backfield, also to his right. High snap, it's brought down. Hand off to Walensky. Gets it across the 25 to about the 24 yard line of Lawrence. And there's an injured North Andover player on the field. Looks like one of the offensive linemen might be cramping up here on the 32 yard line. And we'll take this opportunity to remind you, Lancer fans, 
to check out the Lawrence Public Schools Flickr account with over 10,000 stunning photos from sporting events, graduations, theater events, concerts, and so much more. Our Flickr account is the ultimate destination for Lawrence Public Schools photography. And with over 2.1 million views and counting, our amazing photography is not to be missed. So, if you're a student, a parent, or just a fan of great photography, head on over to flickr.com slash people slash Lawrence Public Schools or download the Flickr app and start exploring our collection today. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to revisit your favorite moments from Lawrence Public Schools events. Check out our Flickr account now. Once again, that's F-L-I-C-K-R dot com slash people slash Lawrence Public Schools. And of course, you can download the Flickr app and check it out right now on your phone. Third down and five coming up for North Andover High here. 120 to play in the third quarter. Great game so far here tonight from Lawrence. The Knights and the Lancers doing battle here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Back to throw, Fitzgerald under pressure and he's sacked at the 37 yard line. Again, Elijah Santel with the huge tackle. Back to throw, Fitzgerald under pressure and he's sacked at the 37 yard line. Again, Elijah Santel with the huge tackle. Now North Andover in a very interesting spot here. It's fourth down and about 15 needed to pick up the first down. Santel's sack have North Andover with a fourth and 15 situation. They're gonna go for it here. Five wide, no huddle. Spawn bringing the pressure. The throw is incomplete, it's short. The pass intended for McNaught. And the Lancers get a turnover on downs here with 33 seconds to go here in the third. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. That was the final play of the third quarter. It's a turnover on downs. And so we go to the fourth quarter here from Lawrence. Fans, you are in the right place at the right time. This is just about as good as it gets here. We go to the fourth, tied at 14. North Andover, number six in the state for Division II. Trying to fend off the feisty Lancers at two and three, number 27 in Division I. Both teams fighting, jockeying for playoff position with only two regular season games to go after tonight. What an MVC battle here at Veterans Memorial Stadium here tonight. An emotional night here in Lawrence. A spirited effort by both teams. And we've got one quarter to decide it and the Lancers will start with the ball after North Andover turns it over on downs. On their first drive of the second half, the Lancers march down the field quickly to score a touchdown. An eight yard touchdown by Ozarian Ventura. North Andover was shut out in that third quarter. So here we go, first play of the fourth. Let's see what the Lancers have dialed up first and 10. It's a handoff to Ventura. And the ball is loose, the Lancers turn it over. 
Ventura fumbles, and it's North Andover football here on the Lancer half of the field. First and 10 North Andover as the junior Ozarian Ventura coughs it up. He scored an eight yard touchdown in the third, but couldn't hang on to it. North Andover trying to punch it out. They force a turnover. The Lancer defense is back out on the field. Walinski is wrapped up. Spawn with a great tackle. He came up limping a few minutes ago. KJ Spawn looking good from that linebacker position. Comes in to make the tackle on Walinski. Good week of practice for KJ Spawn. He knew he was going to be busy with Zach Walinski, the workhorse for North Andover. He gets a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Now it's second and 11. Fitzgerald in the shotgun. It's a little sweep play to McNaught, and McNaught is tackled at the 40-yard line. He's wrapped up and pushed backwards, but forward progress brings him to the 40. That creates a third down, and about seven needed to pick up the first. Under 11 minutes to play in the game here. The Knights looking for a third down conversion. The Lancers have played very well on third down defensively in the third quarter in this second half. Looking for another stop. Back to throw. Fitzgerald fires over the middle. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by Lawrence High. Going all the way to the far sideline. Elijah Santel has set up the Lancers in the red zone. The Looking for another stop. Back to throw. Fitzgerald fires over the middle. It's intercepted. It's intercepted by Lawrence High. Going all the way to the far sideline. Elijah Santel has set up the Lancers in the red zone. The After the pick, Santel brings it 55 yards all the way to the 10-yard line of North Andover. That's exactly what the Lancers needed on that third and seven. Older brother Donuts would be proud of the younger brother Munchkin, Eliza, Elijah Santel, having the game of his life here against the Knights. Now, can the Lancers punch it in from 10 yards out? It's first and goal. The Lancers cannot pick up a first down in this situation unless it is via penalty. Direct snap to Manon. Manon pushing forward. Gets about halfway there. Five-yard pickup on the direct snap to David Mannon. Ten minutes to go in the game. Mannon is going to come to the sideline. He will not be on the field for this second down snap. He is the team leader in touchdowns. Rodriguez, the lone back in the backfield to the right of Jaden Abreu. Three wide to the far side left for the Lancers, one to the near side right, that's Reyes. Here we go, second down, up the middle, Abreu can't find space. Brought down, loss on the play. Third down coming up for the Lancers and Manon will come back into the game, or will he? Third and goal now from the seven yard line, a loss of two on that play. And Manon will stay on the sideline. Yeah, 
Here we go, third and seven for the Lancer. Same formation, three wide, far side left, one wide, near side right, and that's Friendy Solar. Rodriguez in the backfield. Here we go, big play, third down for the Lancers. Play action pass, Abru is gonna be sacked. He was looking to run it up the middle, but he's brought down, and now what's the call? Fourth down from the eight yard line. And the Lancers are gonna go for a field goal to try and take the lead. And this could be the biggest moment of Danny Mejia's career. The Lancers trying to take the lead and that's a high snap and the Lancers are in trouble. De La Rosa throwing. And it falls incomplete. Lancers turn it over on downs here. A golden opportunity to take the lead. But they can't get it done. Justin De La Rosa, the holder. Not sure if that was an intended fake. Tough sequence there for the Lancers on offense. But here come the Knights with Walensky, and Walensky is going to be wrapped up for a short gain on first down. Picks up a yard, second and nine coming up for North Andover. They got a long way to go here against this Lancer defense that has played well in the second half. Just over seven minutes to play in the game. North Andover taking their time deep in their own territory. Second and nine from inside their own 10 yard line. The first play went to Walensky. And again, it's a rushing attempt. North Andover with a little bit of space to work with, but third down coming up. This time Walensky Picks up about five yards. So it's going to be third down and a short five. Another big third down situation here. Fitzgerald under center, back to throw on third down, fires, jump ball, and it's incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Lancers brought pressure on third down, and it is a punting situation for North Andover. 6.06 to play in the game, and the Lancers hoping to get the ball back here. Bethel is back, standing on his own goal line to punt it away, and Reyes, Reyes and De La Rosa both back deep to return the punt. Here's the snap, it's low, almost blocked! And the Lancers are gonna let it bounce. They won't have the best field position. They'll have to start at their own 40, a good punt there by Bethel. So the Lancers couldn't punch it in from 10 yards out. Now they're 60 yards out with the same task to try to break this tie. Just under six minutes to go here in the game.
big drive coming up here for the Lancers. Perhaps the biggest drive of many of these young men's careers. The Lancers trying to knock off North Andover. Rodriguez goes in motion. It's a handoff. The handoff to Tomas Polanco. Polanco gets his first carry of the game. He picks up seven yards, and that's a pretty solid drive starter for Lawrence High, who now goes without a huddle. Manon and Abreu, both in the backfield, either could take the snap. It's Manon, Manon plowing forward. David Manon gets it over midfield. Nice rush initiating contact. Plowing forward for the first down. No huddle here for the Lancers. Line of scrimmage, the 47 yard line of North Andover. A brood takes the snap, it's a toss. Rodriguez looking for space. Rodriguez across the 45. And he is down at about the 45 yard line, yep. Maybe the 46, close to it at least. Second and seven now for the Lancers. 44 yard line, he crosses the 45, gets it to the 44 and home team with a second down coming up here. Again, Manon and Abreu both standing in the backfield, both ready to take the shotgun snap. It's a carry for Ventura. And Ventura, short gain, third down coming up. Whistles here before the third down snap. So the officials stop the clock and then restart it. No timeout called by either team as the Lancers with now under four minutes to play. Lancers have all their timeouts to work with. They're huddled up right at midfield, standing on the LHS shield. Possible four down territory for the Lancers. They need to at least get it close to the sticks. They need the 37 yard line, two backs in the backfield. It's a handoff for Rodriguez. And he gets close, but does not convert. Forty-one yard line is the line of scrimmage. Fourth down for the Lancers. They need four yards here to convert and keep the drive alive. Critical play in the game here. Two backs in the backfield. Rodriguez and Ventura both back there in a three wide receiver set. It's a little screen pass, a double pass! But Reyes looked downfield, he didn't pull the trigger and the Lancers turn it over on downs. Two thirty-five to play here in the game. North Andover trying for a game-winning drive here against the Lancers. Fitzgerald scrambling under pressure, throws it out of bounds near side. Second and ten coming up. Fitzgerald's pass intended for Beth Olsen. We 
This game far from over here. Two minutes, 29 seconds remaining in the fourth. Lancers, again, defensively have been stout here in the second half. Zero points allowed so far in the second half. The Lancers think that they have it figured out, but the offense, after Ventura's eight-yard touchdown run, has sputtered. Impossible overtime situation here if neither team is able to score in the final two and a half minutes of play. But North Andover trying for a game-winning drive here late in the fourth in a tie game. Walensky looking for a hole, finds one. Gets it close to midfield. Ventura makes the tackle at the 47-yard line. And another third down coming up for the Knights. Third and six here. Lancer defense has been fantastic here in this second half of play. North Andover trying to convert, keep this drive alive, trying to put this game-winning drive together. Intercepted by Lawrence High! The Lancers have life here! Yario Corsino with the interception, the second pick of the game. Corsino has played phenomenally this evening. We've called his name a few times. The sophomore picks off Fitzgerald on a third and six. Now can the Lancers finish the job here? They do have three timeouts to work with. 92 seconds left in the game. The job still far from done here. The Lancers 37 yards away from pay dirt. Two backs in the backfield here for a brew. Jaden takes the snap. It's a handoff to Ventura. Ventura looking for running room, can't find it. Nice tackle there made. And Charlie Finn on the tackle for North Andover. A big time tackle there on first down. In fact, he pushes Ventura back a yard, so it's second and 11. Clock rolling here, under a minute to play. Five wide for the Lancers. Three to the far side left, two to the near side right on second and 11. Do the Lancers take their shot here? No, it's a pass short to Cartagena who gets it to the 30 yard line, close to the sticks, not enough for a first down. The Lancers call timeout. 28 seconds left in the game as Cartagena Let's see where they spot him. Spot him just over the 30 yard line. So it's third and a short two needed to pick up the first. So the Lancers call timeout. Here's the situation. 28.8 seconds left in the game. That is the unofficial stadium scoreboard. Score is 14 to 14. Lancers and Knights tied up here. After this Lancer timeout and the offensive huddle breaks, it will be third down and two as Lawrence High tries to break the tie. What a game here from Robert Fitzgerald Field at Veterans Memorial Stadium. What do the, Le what do the Lancers want to do here with under 30 seconds to go? They still have two timeouts to work with.
third down and two for Lawrence. So here we go. Third and two for the Lancers. Five wide receivers set. Three to the far side left. Two to the near side right. Jaden Abreu, the senior quarterback. And the Lancers trying to break the tie. Jaden looking, looking, goes up the middle. He could be. He has a first down, and the flags are thrown here. Are they thrown? He slid forward and still took a hit. Do the referees want to call a personal foul penalty as Jaden Abreu slid forward and still took a hit to the upper body? Let's see if they want to make a call. Personal foul against North Andover. That's a massive call. Jaden Abreu slid forward. A smart play by the senior quarterback. And he was hit. Not very hard, but he was hit in the upper body after he had already given himself up. So because of that slide and the contact that came after the slide began, the personal foul penalty is called against North Andover. It's a 15-yard penalty, and now the Lancers are really cooking with gas here with 24 seconds left in the game and the ball on the North Andover 18-yard line. So after the personal foul penalty, the Lancers call timeout to talk things over. They're on the 18-yard line. They have one timeout remaining here. They're trying to score a game-winning touchdown here in the final seconds of the fourth quarter. This is what it's all about, folks. One of the best all-time matchups between these two schools, North Andover and Lawrence, going to battle here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. Can the Lancers come up with a game-winning touchdown here, 24 seconds left. Rodriguez and Ventura in the backfield, a three wide receiver set for the Lancers. Rodriguez in motion, back to throw. Jaden looking to the end zone, incomplete. He threw it away. The closest in the area was Jadis Cartagena. It'll be second down. Abreu on the near sideline talking to his head coach, Randy Audate, getting the play. Clock stopped after the incompletion. Second down and 10. The Lancers can still pick up a first down inside the five-yard line. They need to get it across the four-yard line for a fresh set of downs. The Lancers do have one timeout, so they have the whole field that they can work with. Five wide receivers set. Empty backfield, here's Jaden, back to throw over the middle, it's caught, Madden fighting forward, and he's brought down inside the five yard line. Timeout called by Lawrence High with 12 seconds to go. Manon was fighting for the goal line with all of his strength. Little bit risky to be honest, as he left the ball vulnerable, but he is brought down inside the five at the three yard line. The Lancers need three more yards to pick up a win here. And what's left to say, folks? We are...
10 seconds to go in the game. The referee's pointing up. So the Lancers without any timeouts here. And here's the situation. All tied up at 14. Lawrence High looking for a game-winning touchdown. Manon in the backfield with a brew. Eight seconds on the clock. No timeouts for the Lancers. They need two yards to win the game. Manon up the middle and he's stuffed. The Lancers go with their bread and butter, but they get stuffed at the two-yard line. And time runs out, folks. We are going to overtime. The Lancers go with their best play, a direct snap to Manon up the middle. They didn't get it, so we will go to overtime, folks. Welcome back, Lancer fans. Thanks again for joining us here on LPS Media. We are set for overtime between North Andover and Lawrence High. So here are your overtime rules. Both teams will get the ball at the 10-yard line, and you will have four downs to try and score a touchdown. If a touchdown is scored, then that team must go for two. After that possession, the following team will take the ball at the 10 yard line and try to match or exceed the first team score. And after one possession for each team, the winner will be the team obviously with the most points. So North Andover on offense here, they have four downs to score and then North Andover will have to match or exceed that score. So here it is. First and goal from the 10. It's a toss to Walensky. Walensky on the first play of overtime. He is in for the touchdown. So it's 20 to 14. And so now North Andover will go for a conversion. They score on the first play of overtime. Lawrence High will have a chance to match. And now North Andover will try to turn the six point lead into an eight point lead. Another, same play tossed to Walensky and Walensky fighting for the goal line, no good. No good, that's a big stop. That's a big stop for Lawrence High. So first things first, Lawrence High needs to score a touchdown to tie the game and after that, if they can convert a two point conversion, then Lawrence High will win. Once again, overtime is not timed. Lawrence High has four chances to score a touchdown. If they do that, the game will be tied and then Lawrence High will have a chance to go for the win with a two-point conversion. So here we go. Lancers down by six here in overtime. First and goal from the 10, the Lancers must score a touchdown within four downs here in order to extend this game. First and goal from the 10, Jaden Abreu in the shotgun, five wide receiver set, back to throw on first down, fade pass, incomplete. Looking for De La Rosa, second down and 10 coming up, second down and goal I should say. Second down here for the Lancers. The Lancers cannot turn it over. If the Lancers turn it over here, the game will be over. 
The only way this game continues is if the Lancers can score a touchdown here from the 10 yard line on second, third, or fourth down. 20 to 14 the score. Here in overtime, five wide receivers set for Jaden Abreu. Back to throw on second and goal. To the end zone and complete too high for Jadis Cartagena. It's third and 10 now. Third and goal again, I should say. Cartagena had a half step on the defensive back ever so slightly open. It was going to take an absolutely perfect throw. And that throw was just a bit high over the head of Cartagena. Let's see what the Lancers want to do here. Third and 10. They need to score on third down or fourth down here to keep the game alive. Same formation here for the Lancers. Five wide receiver set. Look for Solar in the right side slot, near side slot, that is. Jaden back to throw. It's caught by Mann! Touchdown, Lancers! David Madden ties it up! Same formation here for the Lancers. Five wide receiver set. Look for Solar in the right side slot, near side slot, that is. Jaden back to throw. It's caught by Madden! Touchdown, Lancers! David Madden ties it up! Ten-yard touchdown reception for Manon. What a moment here at Lawrence High. It does not get any better than this, folks. Let me repeat, you are watching an unbelievable matchup between these two teams, arguably the best matchup in the history of these two teams, North Andover and Lawrence. The Lancers can win if they convert here and we have whistles before the snap. So North Andover calls timeout here before the conversion attempt. Once again, here is the situation. We are all tied 20 to 20. Lawrence High, if they can convert here, the Lancers win the football game. Kneeling at the 50 yard line, Coach Richie Olerick looking on, hoping that the Lancers can convert here. It all comes down to this one play. If the Lancers convert, they win. If North Andover gets a stop, we go into a second overtime. Manon in the game with Jaden Abreu, both of them will be ready to take the snap. Before regulation ended, Manon got stuffed at the two-yard line. Let's see what happens here. Manon ready for the snap. Abreu ready for the snap. Motion prior to the snap, a five-yard penalty against Lawrence High, so that makes the play call potentially different. And so the Lancers now have to convert Instead of from the two yard line, they are pushed back to the seven yard line. Lancers call timeout. They sent Danny Mejia onto the field to try and kick an extra point to win this game. Okay. So you're 
So both teams are now without timeouts. 20 to 20 here in the first overtime. The Lancer sent Mejia out to take the extra point. And Mejia is going out there. The Lancers did attempt a field goal earlier in the game. The snap was too high. De La Rosa rolled out to the right and threw an incompletion as the Lancers forced to turn it over on downs on that play. Now Mejia comes off the field. And so we could be looking for a traditional two-point conversion attempt, although not completely traditional as we are on the seven-yard line after the false start penalty for Lawrence. So no timeouts left. This snap awaits. Lawrence High breaks the huddle here. If they can convert this two-point conversion, they'll pick up an overtime win against North Andover. A brew, five wide receiver set, no timeouts for either team. Here we go, a brew, back to pass, throwing incomplete. We're gonna go to a second overtime. So 20 to 20 after one overtime. So we go to the second overtime here from Lawrence. Real quick scoring summary before we get back to it. Jake Jackson, a first down, first quarter touchdown reception to make it 6 nothing In the second, Cartagena, 25-yard touchdown reception to make it 6-6. Walinski, a three-yard touchdown to make it 12-6. McNaught, a two-point conversion to make it 14-6. In the third, Ventura, an eight-yard touchdown run and a two-point conversion by Cartagena made it 14-14. Then, in the first overtime, Walinski with a touchdown run and then Manon with a touchdown reception. We're all tied up at 20. Second overtime here as the Lancers are on offense to start. It's a run up the middle. Jaden Abu lost the football. He fumbled inside the five. And who has it? Lawrence High recovers the fumble inside the five. My goodness. What a moment. Second and goal for the Lancers at the three yard line. So it's a seven yard pickup as a brew fumbles it. It's recovered by Lawrence High. So here we go. Second and goal from the three yard line in overtime number two. Manon and a brew both ready for the snap. Up the middle, and the Lancers come up short. Lots of misdirection, but it was a rush right up the middle. It's third down coming up. Ventura up the middle, and he is hurt. Lots of misdirection. Manon and Rodriguez both running around in the backfield. It was up the middle to Ventura, and Ventura couldn't cross the plane. He's tackled, and he's hurt. No gain. And so Ventura at the two yard line here Suffering an injury after that run. 
And again, we're in the second overtime. The score 20 to 20, North Andover on defense here, Lawrence High on offense in the second overtime period. And Ventura is gonna need some help getting up off the field. Zarian Ventura with an eight yard touchdown run in the third quarter. That made it 14 to 12. Feels like ages ago. And after Ventura's touchdown, Jadis Cartagena punched in the two point conversion. And that is why we are tied up at 14 apiece. In the first overtime, Walinski with a rushing touchdown, Manon with a touchdown reception as Ventura is carried off the field by his teammates. And the Lancers take the field here. Third down. Lawrence High looking for the go-ahead score here. Abreu with Rodriguez in the backfield here. Third down. Abreu has it. Throws to the near side. Touchdown! Lancers! Cartagena in the near side corner! Gives Lawrence a 26 to 20 lead. Field here, third down. Abru has it. Throws to the near side. Touchdown! Lancers! Cartagena in the near side corner. What a play between the two seniors, Abru and Cartagena, find each other. A three yard touchdown reception. 26 to 20, and Jaden Abreu comes to the sideline here for the two point attempt. So David Mannon in at quarterback. Mannon, as the Lancers try to go for two, Mannon looking for room, and he's stuffed. So here we are with the Lancers leading 26 to 20. The Lancers have their first lead of the game and it comes in the second overtime. So North Andover needs a touchdown to keep this game alive. If the Lancers can get a turnover, the Lancers will win this football game. Here we go, first down. Walensky gets inside the five all the way to the two yard line. Walensky machine-like in this overtime period. Walensky brings North Andover to the two yard line. It's second down and two. Again, second overtime period. North Andover needs a touchdown to stay alive here. And he's stuffed. Walensky couldn't cross the plane. That brings up third down. The crowd on its feet, the sideline jumping, cars honking in the parking lot. North Andover is two yards away from tying this game, but they're not in yet. Lawrence can win on a turnover. Third down for North Andover. It's a toss to Walensky, and he's stuffed again! Fourth down coming up! Could this be the most epic goal line stand in the history of Lawrence High?
It all comes down to this, folks. Fourth down for North Andover. The Lancers are one stop away from a victory, but North Andover is one yard away from tying it up. So both teams have a moment here to huddle up and talk things over. Cartagena with a three yard touchdown reception to make it 26 to 20. North Andover knocking on the door. One yard away. Can North Andover cross the plane here and tie it up? If so, they have a chance to win. If not, the Lancers will win the ball game on this play. So even if North Andover scores, it'll be tied and they'll still have a chance to go for the win. Here we go, it all comes down to this. Fourth down for North Andover. Fitzgerald, under center. It's a quarterback sneak, and he's in for the touchdown. All tied up at 26. So Cartagena's touchdown catch to make it 26-20 is answered by the QB sneak from Fitzgerald. So now it's time for the two-point conversion. If North Andover converts, the Knights escape with a win. If the Lancers get a stop, we go to the third overtime. Fitzgerald, back to throw, wide open in the end zone, and North Andover wins. The catch is made by Sean Kilcoin. The tight end, number 26, makes the catch in the back of the end zone. Heartbreak for the Lancers, elation. For the Knights, the final score here from Lawrence, 28 to 26. One of the most epic football games, folks, you'll ever see. It took two overtimes to decide a winner, but the Lancers heartbroken here. What a game. Folks, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been a privilege to bring you tonight's coverage of Lawrence Lancers Athletics. An amazing game. You may never see anything like this anytime soon. The Lancers fall just short. The two point conversion is good. The final score for the final time so far, 28 for the Knights, 26 for the Lancers. Folks, thanks for joining us on LPS Media and we'll see you next time.